Hello everyone and thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be over stem and leaf plots including decimals. Now stem and leaf plots are a type of graph and we use these types of graphs to organize data, organize information. And stem and leaf plots organize the data by their place value. We organize numbers by their place value on stem and leaf Now here is a stem and leaf plot and we're going to take these numbers and we're going to put them on the stem and leaf plot. Now these numbers represent something. A fourth grade teacher measured her students' heights and each number you see here represents one student's height. It's how tall they were. So one student was three and five tenths feet tall, another was four and two tenths feet tall, and so on. Now these heights of these students are not in order, so I want to put them in order to make it easier to put them on the stem and leaf plot. So here are my heights in order from least to greatest. Now here's how it works on a stem and leaf plot. In this case you see that every number has two digits and we have a decimal in between the digits. So for three and five tenths, I'm going to say that the three will be my stem and the five will be my leaf. Now, every number that has a three in the ones place is going to be in this row with the five. So let's look at my numbers. I see that I have three and five tenths and that's already on my stem and leaf plot so I crossed it off. I see three and eight tenths and three and eight tenths, that's two of those, so the eight will go in the leaf, the other eight will go in the leaf as the tenths place, and I see three and nine tenths. So all of these numbers in this row have a three in the stem and the leaf represents the tenths place. Now I'm going to go to my next row and that's going to be numbers with a four in the stem and I see that I have four four and one tenth, four and two tenths, four and three tenths, four and three tenths, four and four tenths, four and six tenths, four and eight tenths. Squeeze that in there. All right, and in this row, these are numbers with a four in the stem. Now I have one more stem with a row of numbers to follow, and that is my five. I will have my five in the stem to represent five feet, and this student here is five feet tall, and then I have a student who's five and one-tenths feet tall, five and two-tenths feet tall, two students that are five and four-tenths feet tall, and then the tallest student in this group of students is five and five-tenths feet tall. So here are these numbers on the stem and leaf plot. And now let's answer some questions over this stem and leaf plot. Mrs. Gibbs measured her students' heights at the beginning of the year. She recorded their heights on the stem and leaf plot below. Record your answer in the blank box next to each question. So here is the stem and leaf plot that we just looked at on the previous slide. And here is your key. Very important to pay attention to this. The key is telling me that if I have a digit in the stem, and a digit in the leaf, it represents a decimal number, not just a regular two digit number, but the stem is the ones place and the leaf is the tenths place. So these are the numbers that we looked at before. Now we're ready to answer the questions. Number one, how many students does Mrs. Gibbs have? Well, this is an easy one to answer. I'm just gonna look at my leaf and I'm gonna count the number of leaves that I have. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and I see that she has 18 students. All right, list the heights of the students who were less than four feet tall. So this is gonna be pretty easy because I see very clearly that the student who was four feet tall is right here. So I need the students that were less than four feet tall. And that would be here. Any student who was three feet tall, all the way up to three and nine tenths feet tall. So I'm gonna list those students here. Three and five tenths, three and eight tenths, 
3 and 8 tenths and 3 and 9 tenths. All right, let's look at the next question. How many students' heights were greater than 4 and 5 tenths feet? Now, in this case, I have to find where 4 and 5 tenths is. And if you go to your 4 here in your stem, I don't see a 5 in the leaf, which means that there wasn't a student who was five, 4 and 5 tenths feet tall. But I do see numbers that are greater than 4 and 5 tenths feet. And that would be the numbers here. 4 and 6 tenths, 4 and 8 tenths, and then all of the students who were 5 feet tall or taller. How many students were those? Well, I like to put brackets when I need information like this. So these are the students here that were taller or they had a height taller than 4 and 5 tenths feet. This student with 4 and 6 tenths, this student with 4 and 8 tenths, the student who was five feet tall, five and one tenths, and so on. So I'm gonna count those. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was eight students whose heights were greater than four and five tenths feet. What is the difference of the shortest student's height and the tallest student's height? Well, that's easy with stem and leaf plots because they're in least to greatest order. So the shortest student's height is here, three and five tenths feet tall. The tallest student is here, the last number, and that's five and five tenths feet tall. Now, if I wanna find the difference, I'm going to take five and five tenths and subtract three and five tenths from it. And I'm going to let you do that on your own to find the difference and put your difference here. How many students have a height greater than four and five tenths feet, but less than five and three tenths feet? Well, let's find four and five tenths. And as we said earlier, there wasn't a four and five tenths on this stem and leaf plot, but I do see numbers that are higher than that. So how many students have a height that's greater than that? That would start here at my four and six tenths. And I need to find where five and three tenths is. Five and three tenths is, oh, I don't see that either, but I do know it would be right in between here. And these are the numbers that would be less than five and three tenths. So it would be this number, four and six tenths, four and eight tenths, five, five and one tenths, and five and two tenths. Those numbers fit in between four and five tenths and five and three tenths. All of those numbers on the stem and leaf plot fit in between these two numbers. So you were asked to count that. How many students have a height greater than four and five tenths feet, but less than five and three tenths feet? It's the number circled in red. I see one, two, three, four, five students. I hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more helpful math videos in the future. Thank you and have a great day.